So good afternoon. My name is Lynn Spencer, and I'm an air safety investigator for the eastern region of the National Transportation Safety Board. I am here today with uh, one of our other investigators out of Washington, D.C., to investigate the mid-air collision that occurred yesterday over Lake Hartridge. We just arrived on scene approximately 45 minutes ago. Before we begin, I would like to, on behalf of the NTSB, ex uh, express my most sincere condolences to the family and the friends affected by this tragedy. We will be assisted here on scene by the FAA and recovery teams. After the on-scene portion of our investigation, we will also be assisted by Lycoming engines and Piper aircraft. The information I have for you today is preliminary since we just arrived on scene. I can confirm the preliminary information that we have, which is that a Piper J3 Cub with two persons on board collided with a Piper PA-28 Cherokee, also with two persons on board. The Cub was out of Jack Brown Seaplane Base. It had an N number of N10510. The Piper Cherokee came out of Lakeland Airport and was N number 221 Delta. Of the four deceased, three have been recovered. I want to thank all of the assistants we have on scene here today, especially the Polk County Sheriff's Office, the Winter Haven Police Department, Florida Fish and Game, Polk County and Winter Haven Fire Departments, and the Polk County EMS. This is a joint effort. On the on-scene portion of our investigation, we will be looking at the man, the machine, and the environment. And that, I mean, we will be looking at the pilots, their airplanes, and the environment. Once we recover the airplanes today and probably tomorrow also, we will be taking them to a secure location where we can do a more in-depth layout. Because this was a mid-air collision, it will be very important for us to look at the impact signatures in order to determine the angle of impact of these two airplanes. Our process is that in approximately two to three weeks, we will put out a preliminary report. About 12 to 18 months after, we will put out a factual report and a probable cause. I can tell you based on the preliminary information that we have so far, that the Piper Cherokee was doing pattern work at the Winter Haven Airport. They were practicing touch and go maneuvers and had completed several of these maneuvers in a left-hand traffic pattern. The J3 Cub, which is a high-wing airplane, was maneuvering over the lake to enter the normal approach for Jack, uh, Lake Jesse, actually, for the seaplanes uh, Lake Jesse. With that, because we have just arrived on scene and have much work to do, I can take maybe two or three questions and then I'll have to call it quits. Can you talk about the recovery, what you guys, the process it'll take to bring these planes in and recover them? So we have um, special um, uh, diving and recovery teams. The visibility in the lake has been very, very poor, about eight inches. So we have specialist divers. Um, they will actually be uh, attaching floats to the aircraft to raise uh, the Cherokee, which is resting on the bottom. The uh, J3 Cub is floating inverted on the surface of the lake. And with these conditions, how challenging is that going to be today? It's very windy out here. I would not expect it um, to be very challenging. Uh, these are professional people. This is what they do. Um, we uh, had um, very forward thinking, uh, people from the local area that attached uh, a life preserver to one of the wreckages so that we could tr uh, track it, even though it was underwater. Um, so I think, we're, I think we're in good hands. Any time frame on this? We'll see when we get started. 
And which plane still has someone inside? Um, the J3 Cub has um, one person still on board. And with that, I'm sorry to end things. I know you all. Okay, I will take one more question. It seems like there are parallel tracks going on here. Information and the job of recovery. Can you explain that there are two things that you're involved in? So absolutely, first off is a recovery of uh, the passengers. Then we recover the aircraft. We need to preserve it. We need to document everything. Uh, we will stay in this area um, to uh, look for videos, uh, talk to any witnesses who may have seen something. Any witnesses who might have seen something, I would ask you to please reach out to NTSB. You can find their information online and let them know you have witnessed this accident. We'll be collecting that perishable evidence here on scene in Winter Haven before we follow the wreckage to a recovery facility. And with that, we must get to work because it's late in the day. I thank you all very much and we'll try to give you an update tomorrow.